right, back out here today. And what we're doing today is covering up cotton sprouts because of impending 40 to 45 degree weather. Cotton, as I've learned recently, is very cold intolerant. Like, it, it'll freeze when there's not even a frost. So anything below 50 is precarious to its health. So I'm just out here checking four days after I planted to see if anything's come up. And I don't expect anything to have come up. Nothing had come up yesterday when I checked. But better safe than sorry. And if I do find one that's come up in order to prevent it from freezing to death, I'm going to cover it with a biodegradable, compostable paper bowl. And that will insulate it from the cold and keep it from freezing. Because the ground will stay warm for most of the night. And that will put off enough heat to keep the cotton crop from freezing. Uh, luckily, nothing seems to have come up yet, so I do not have to worry about anything freezing tonight. Well, not freezing, just frost kill. Now, I'll be back tomorrow because there's supposed to be similar weather tomorrow night, and after that, it's all warm weather and warm skies. I've got the pump primed just to see if it continues pumping. I've got this thing chained up so that people don't play with it and mess up the leathers. You know, it's just clipped on there, but it, it looks convincing enough to let people know that they need to not play with it. And that's it. So, doesn't need to stop them, just needs to keep the honest honest. And I got a new watering can, because I broke the other one. So this is the first seedling to come up. Not quite sure how many have come up, but we got one at least. Oh, there's a second one. There's a tent caterpillar. That's it. Looks like it was just those two. Gonna have to cover these up again because there's more 40 degree weather forecasted which wasn't supposed to be forecasted. I apologize in advance for the wind noise, but I'm out here again on the following Tuesday checking on germination and we have a lot more. As you saw back there we had 1, 2 A and B, 1, 11 A and B, and 1, 12, sorry, A slash B for all those. And over here we have 213 A or B to 12 A and B. Down here this is like 27 A or B. 25 A or B. That kind of pillar's still there. That's like. 3, 4, A or B, 3, 6, A or B, do, and Moneymaker, row 4, that is 4, 11, A or B, 4, 10, A and B, 4, 9, A or B, do, 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 do. I think this is for six A or B, for five A or B, for four A or B, for two A or B, and that's it. So as you can tell, it is the the one inch and the two inch plants that are coming up. I think back here. The two inch was the first one to come up, and I think that, oh, there was two here actually. So there was A and B at 
11 for row 4. I've, I've got all this data written down anyway, so don't worry about it. So uh, the 2-inch plant was the first to come up here, and it was the first to come up here. And that appears to be the case everywhere else in the plot. I don't know if I have any other doubles on this one. I don't think I do. And none of the quarter inch or half inch plants have come up. And that makes perfect sense to me because I didn't water these. If I were to have watered them, I would have expected the three um, deeper ones to have all come up already. But I deliberately didn't water to avoid or to delay germination to avoid frost. And it is like 40 something out here and there's a stiff cross breeze. So I'm hoping none of these things get uh, burnt out by the wind or frozen by the wind. We shall see. All right, so germination is starting. We're one step closer to actual cotton. Came out here to cover up plants and it looks like we have our first problem. There is an eastern, sorry, southeastern mole who has made his way into the cotton plot. And hopefully he does not continue his operations in proximity to my cotton because that will be hazardous to the mole's health. Hopefully I don't have to remove any moles. That may just occur. Back out here at the Hutchinson house checking on seedlings again. It is April 3rd, 12 days after germination, and I have six new seedlings germinated. Well, emerged, I should say. You can't really count the germination when you can't see the seeds. Uh, let me see if I can find one of the new ones for you. There's one. Let's see, it's just. See, it's just barely breaking through the ground, and you can just make out the stem right there. And I've got six of those like that, mostly on the first and second rows. This third row has had lackluster germination so far, and I'm not entirely sure why. Who knows? Probably just stochasticity. One interesting thing I have noted, though, is that on some of these seedlings... They have emerged with yellow edges on their cotyledons, which I find interesting. I don't know why cotyledons would be yellow, considering the seed has all the nutrients it needs, unless they were just, you know, not properly stocked by their parent. It's like that on a couple of these. However, on most of the ones that had come up by March 31st, like these or this one or that one there's no yellowing to the leaves but I believe that one does have a little yellowing but this one definitely doesn't that one doesn't that one that one does a little so I'm not entirely sure what's causing that I don't know if that's this sudden cold snap of 40, 50 degree weather uh, messing with the seedling biochemistry and impacting their ability to photosynthesize, or if it's just a, a light thing or a water thing, I don't know. I'll have to look into that. I'm sure it's something common and obvious. I just have to research. But I think that's it for the initial germination. We're doing all right. I think we're... About at 15% germination rate, a little bit higher than that, which isn't great, um, but we're far from complete. So I only need one plant per to survive of each of these 40, well, how many did I do? Each of these 52 spaces. So we've got 27, a couple of those are doubles, so we've got about probably at least... 30%, at least a third of all the spaces have some sort of germination. So the next plant-based update you'll probably see from me is me doing my experimental irrigation procedures on these two rows. And whenever these put out their first true leaves. Or when I have complete germination. One of those two. We shall see. I'll have other cool stuff in the meantime, though.